In this video, I'm gonna give you the complete scientific breakdown based on the latest research as to how to detox your body. Hi, I'm Dr. Zorowski with NewVisionExcel.com. If you're new to the channel, as always, it's a pleasure to have you here. Be sure to subscribe, hit that little bell notification to join our notification community, and I'm gonna help you excel your health and your life. In this video, we're talking about how to detox your body. If you search the internet, you're gonna find hundreds of ways to detox your body. Fancy green drinks, squeezing lemon in water, drinking a lot of olive oil, I've seen it all. But you know what, those might have worked in the past when life was more simple, right? When we just got simple toxins from our simple environment. Today, man has created over hundreds of different chemicals. We have pharmaceuticals, which is you know the new era of toxicity that many people are facing. And so many different xenotoxins out there, toxins from plastics that we're drinking water from, you name it. So we have to really have a more complex and scientific way to detox the body. I know that many people are hoping I can just tell them there's a simple green drink or you know eat more lettuce or something and that's all there is to it but unfortunately because of the way that the toxins are in our environment today, it takes a detox system that is much more scientific and complex. So what we're going to do is discuss the health conditions associated with toxicity. We're also going to discuss the detox blueprint and then I'll go from there and I'll give you the complete scientific breakdown as to how we're going to detox all the organs systemically and make sure that you get all the toxins from your body. So let's do a quick run through of the health condition epidemic that people are facing as a result of toxicity. First here is autoimmune issues. Many, many people are suffering from different autoimmune issues of unknown origin. Deficiencies, so we're looking at vitamin deficiencies. Chronic inflammation throughout the body, the same inflammation that leads to heart disease, to cancer, all these different problems. Neurological disorders, ADD, ADHD, autism, Parkinson's, MS, and so many more. Infections, how many people are getting chronic infections today? This is is actually pretty crazy the amount of people who are getting chronic infections and they just can't find solutions to them okay and then also mitochondrial dysfunction now the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell and it is really what uh, supplies your entire body with energy so we'll talk more about that in a second here but this is another major issue for people leading to chronic fatigue adrenal issues um, literally creating just a, a complete storm of health conditions in the body now when we look at detox Okay, and we're talking about a true way to detox, a real way to detox. Once again, no fancy drinks and juices and potions here, but a way to truly detox the body. Here's the blueprint. We're going to go through the blueprint, and then once again, I'll break down all the different science for you and tell you how to do it. First thing that we have to do is we have to stop toxic entry, okay? So if we want to, you know, pull toxins from our body, remove toxins from our body, we have to stop doing the same thing every single day that is putting all these toxins within us, okay? We're talking about the food, the chemicals in our home, the, the clothing that we're wearing, the beauty products, all of that, okay? And I've done a video on this, so, you know, if this is the first time you're jumping in, this is a little mini series on detox, I'll go ahead and put a link to all the other videos in the description below so you can kind of catch yourself up on that. But you gotta stop toxic entry. Rebuild the membranes. The next thing that we have to do here is rebuild the cellular membranes, the membranes around the mitochondria, the membrane around the DNA, and support the membranes within the body, okay? So that's, this is part of it. And I'm going to break this down further once again. We're gonna do a quick run through and then we'll really get into it. We also have to rebuild the mitochondria, okay? I talked about mitochondria dysfunction, all the problems it's causing, we really need to get the mitochondria functioning properly. The next is we have to decrease inflammation. All that inflammation is that, that leads to disease, that chronic cellular inflammation in the body, we have to focus on bringing that down to decrease it so that the cell can function, the body can function properly at a cellular level. And then the lastly, we have to repair DNA. The things that we do, the things that we change in our environment can change the way that our DNA is functioning, okay? There's something called epi epigenetics. Epigenetics is referring to your environment and how your environment will choose whether you, you get disease or you don't get disease. Many people believe that because their mother, father, sister, whoever got cancer or heart disease, that means that they are just destined to get it. What we know is that it's your environment that changes and determines whether or not you will get that disease or not. So we want to make sure that we're doing as much as we can to repair our DNA. And it's scientifically proven that we can change the outcome of our DNA to avoid disease and have a life full of health and 
longevity. Let's go ahead and break down all the different scientific factors as to how you're going to truly detox the body now. Now the body has very complex detox systems in order to deal with all these toxins. But as I mentioned, the complexity of the toxins that we deal with today in the sheer amount causes a lot of issues for us. Let's go ahead and look at some of the exit points in which these toxins actually leave the body. The first here is the liver, the gallbladder, and the colon. When blood carries the toxins to the liver, essentially it filters it out, it dumps them into the gallbladder, which it then in turn dumps them into the colon so that they can be eliminated from the body. So that's going to be the number one way in which toxins leave the body. The number two way that le toxins leave the body is going to be the skin through perspiration, sweating. You know, so athletes and people who exercise on a regular basis are going to get rid of toxins more easily. Now, the other thing that we have to look at that supports toxin removal is the kidneys and also the lungs, okay? So now we're going to go ahead and dive into some of the science of removing toxins and detoxing at a cellular level, which is the only real way to detox. And once again, it's not a green drink, it's not a powder, it's not a juice, so it is a little bit more complicated and there's a lot more science to it. However, this is how you truly get sick people well. So let's go ahead and start this journey with the liver because that essentially is where detox starts. Now in the liver, there's something called phase one and phase two detoxification. Essentially what this means is the liver is taking a toxin, it's breaking it down to something that can be eliminated from the body and that process all occurs in the liver. So when we look at the liver in general, we want to make sure when we're detoxing, we are supporting the liver itself. Now if we were to take the liver and expand on it and look at the liver at a cellular level, this is really where it gets more important and where the details really matter. Now this right here is the cell. When we look at the cell wall right here, essentially what happens is, you know, through this process of the liver just filtering toxins day after day, it becomes overburdened. The cell becomes overburdened. These toxins attach to the cell wall in here. These little red dots are the toxins. And then the cell wall becomes inflamed. Once the cell wall is inflamed, essentially the good nutrients and vitamins and minerals can't get in and the bad stuff can't get out. Okay, so we first go in and we work on fixing and repairing the cell wall through this detox process. The next thing we work on doing is increasing intracellular glutathione. If you haven't watched my video on glutathione, it's in the description below, but I talked about how important it is to actually increase intracellular glutathione, glutathione within the cell for your overall health and your body's overall defense system. So we work on increasing glutathione, which is the strongest antioxidant in the body. We also make sure that we work on increasing cellular energy. This little circle right here is the mitochondria. When we increase cellular energy, increase ATP output, we're also going to support the smooth endoplasmic reticulum, which is going to be a huge part in supporting the detox process, making sure we get vitamins and minerals into the mitochondria, into the smooth endoplasmic reticulum is very important. So when we look at the cell itself, once we go in and we start repairing it, we also start changing DNA function and the way that the DNA is going to affect you long term, whether disease will be expressed or not expressed, okay? That's what we refer to as epigenetics, okay? Okay. So looking at the cell, we go in to really fix the cell. Let's circle back to the liver. Now, once the liver actually takes these toxins from the blood, filters them out, it's gonna put them into the bile. Now, this is the gallbladder right here. And once again, you know, this, uh, if, you're, if you're following this video for my artistic talent, you came to the wrong place, but we'll do the best we can with what we have to work with. So this right here is the gallbladder. The toxins are gonna be dumped into the gallbladder with the bile. And then when the gallbladder contracts, Tracks, it's going to dump all these different toxins into the colon. Now, there's a couple things that we want to consider here as well. First of all, if we don't bind these toxins up in the colon, we'll have something called retox or auto intoxication. Basically, when you this means that when you dump the toxins into the colon, you're going to absorb them and you're just going to dump the toxins, become toxic, and, and it's just an endless cycle that only gets worse over time. So when the, the toxins are dumped from the bile into the colon, we bind those toxins toxins up and they're eliminated through your, the waste of the body. Now, there's a couple things we want to consider here as well. First of all, we want to make sure that we're supporting the colon properly with probiotics. Now, the probiotics are part of the detox process, and we also know that toxins can actually go and disrupt the microbial balance within the gut. So we want to make sure that while we're binding up these toxins, we're also putting in proper probiotics to make sure that we're nourishing the gut properly and also supporting that detox process in the colon and keeping the colon health really functioning well. 
The other thing we look to do is we actually look to support the kidneys, okay? The kidneys, as I mentioned, were a major part of the detox process along with the colon. And when we look at eliminating toxins from the body, we wanna make sure we're really supporting the kidneys in this process. Now, the last thing I'm gonna mention here is supporting the brain, okay? When we look at these different toxins, I had mentioned in a previous video that they like, many of these toxins like to store themselves in the deep tissues, specifically the fat tissues. That's why when you lose weight, you become toxic. But many of these toxins are stored right in the brain so people's brains don't function properly. And this is why so many neurological disorders come out of uh, a toxicity issue. And so when we look at detoxing, we wanna make sure that we're giving oxidative brain support to the brain so that you're not becoming becoming more sick. Some people, when they go to detox, and if they're not doing detox properly, essentially they start detoxing and their brain actually just becomes more and more sick as a result of toxins free floating in the blood. The blood, the blood brain barrier, which is supposed to keep the toxins out, is even compromised in many cases in a, in a situation called leaky brain. And then all of a sudden you become more and more toxic and, and more sick if you're not doing it properly, okay? So in a whole, we need to make sure that we're supporting the liver, we're supporting the cell, we're supporting the colon, the kidneys, and the brain itself so that we can truly, truly detox the body. Once again, once again, I said there is a deep science in all of this. It's not a simple juice. It's not a simple um, green drink. It's not about just eating more, more kale or something along those lines. I know a lot of people like that kind of strategy, but the truth is if you truly wanna get well, if you truly wanna get these very complex toxins, these pharmaceuticals and everything out of your system, then you need to detox your body at a cellular level and give your body the proper support. So what we use is different phases in order to detox, okay? The first phase really goes in and preps the body. It preps the body by supporting the kidneys, supporting the liver, supporting the colon, supporting all the detox pathways. And then from there, what we do is we focus on going in and actually pushing toxins from the body. So in stage two of detoxification, we push all these toxins from the body and really focus on pulling them and eliminating them. And then stage three of detoxification, we work on actually healing the brain, pulling toxins from the brain and getting the neuro nervous system functioning well. So this is a very complex process it's done in three different stages, okay? Stage one is preparing, stage two is pulling toxins, and stage three is removing toxins from the nervous system and brain. And so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and put a link below in the system that we use to detox. Once again, this is an actual scientific strategy. It's not just drinking more kale or green juice. It's, it's based on science and it's the true way to remove toxins from the body. I'll put the link below. Other than that, if you have any questions, post it in the comments section below, give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends because this is how you do a true detox. This is how you clinically detox the body. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, check out my other videos on detox, and I'll see you in the next video.